When you see pictures of communities devastated by fire, you might notice trees and vegetation still standing while homes have been completely destroyed. This is indicative of the difference between a wildfire and a conflagration. So what exactly is a conflagration? It's generally understood that wildfires are fires that occur in the wildland or in areas where the wildland meets human development, known as the wildland urban interface. But the fires in Southern California right now are better described as conflagrations. One of the key differences between a wildfire and a conflagration lie in how the fire spreads. Wildfires are primarily spread by fuels like vegetation and brush. The fire moves from one tree or plant to the next, like dominoes falling. Fuel breaks in the landscape can be very effective in stopping the spread of these types of fires. But a conflagration is driven by embers created by the fire and carried by the wind. As the fire burns, it produces embers that can travel long distances, especially over extreme wind events. These embers can easily find weak spots in homes and other structures. Once one structure catches fire, it creates more embers, which can spread to more structures, exponentially accelerating the fire growth. And once embers ignite a home, the fire can easily spread through connecting flammable pathways like fences, sheds, and plants that connect neighborhood homes together. Some trees are more ignition resistant to fast moving conflagrations than a slow moving wildfire. The structure to structure movement of conflagrations coupled with the fact that wind can carry embers up to more than a mile can make fire barriers like fuel breaks less effective. But home hardening and defensible space can act as a barrier to help resist the intrusion of embers and flames. Small steps like removing all flammable items within five feet of your home can make a very big difference. Learn more about home hardening and other prevention strategies at our website, readyforwildfire.org.